Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. The war between Iran and Iraq started on 22nd September 1980 by Iraqi invasion. This is yet another example where the attacker seriously underestimated the defender's capability while overestimating his own at the same time. The Iranian military, and especially the Air Force, was indeed weakened by the revolutionary purges. But realities of Iraqi invasion forced the Iranian clerical leadership to recall many officers back to help stop the Iraqis, despite not trusting them politically. The Iranian Air Force still had plenty of well-trained pilots and American-supplied aircraft. F-5E was their least capable fighter, lacking sophisticated electronic equipment of F-4 Phantoms and F-14 Tomcats. But necessity called for an extensive use of the F-5 in the early phase of the war, when the Air Force proved to be the key factor which stopped Iraqi advance into Iranian territory. One of the key missions flown by F-5 pilots was attacking Iraqi air bases. Two days after the beginning of the war, on 24 September 1980, Iranian tactical fighter base No. 2 launched two airstrikes against Iraqi air bases at Mosul and Kirkuk. Four F-5Es on the earlier mission took off at 6 a.m. to attack Firna's air base near Mosul. The flight leader was Captain Zarif Hadim. Number two in the formation was Mustafa Ardestani. He would later become a brigadier general of the Iriaf, and this reenactment is partially based on his recollections. One pair of F-5s attacked the airbase from the north, and the other from the south.
to dropping the bombs, the flight leader Zarif Hadim ordered his pilots to perform strafing runs. Kurdistani sighted a lineup of Alouettes and Me Too helicopters parked on the northern apron. He selected this as his target. Kurdistani lined up for a straight and fast but discovered his guns were jammed. He avoided the attack. Number 3 in the formation, Captain Fashid Eskandari then attempted to attack the same lineup of helicopters. During his attack, Eskandari was hit by an Iraqi SAM. He successfully ejected and was captured by Iraqis. The second Iranian F-5 flight, launched by Tactical Fighter Base 2 on that day, was led by Captain Yadola Sharif Irad. The flight took off at 11 a.m. and headed for al Huria Air Base at Kirkuk. After the attack, two Iraqi MiG-21s managed to sneak upon the Iranian formation. One of the Iraqi missiles detonated under the Sharifi Rod's F-5, which alerted him. started maneuvering and eventually found himself on the tail of one of the Iraqi mix as he was about to attack the Iranian number 4. Sharif Irad launched a single sidewinder and shot down the Iraqi MiG.
this was the first air-to-air -air kill for the Iranian F-5s. Sharif Iran had a very interesting life. Before the war, he was a member of Golden Crown aerobatic team. During the war, he was credited with shooting down three enemy aircraft plus two more unconfirmed, which makes him the most successful F-5 pilot. He was once shot down and rescued by Kurdish guerrillas. Between 1984 and 1987, he served as the military attaché in Pakistan. He was then accused of spying on behalf of the United States and he spent over a year in prison. After his release, he escaped to Canada where he still lives today. I hope you liked the video, be sure to press the like button if you did. You can also join our Discord server, which is a new thing. Support the channel on Patreon if you're able to, and keep watching Showtime 1-1-2.